Hello friends, uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project uh, the task booking system and uh, I have developed this project in Android so this is an Android application and you can run this project on your mobile and uh, for uh, database I am using the MySQL for connecting Android with uh, MySQL we have developed various APIs and API we have developed in PHP version 7 and MySQL version and we are using 5.6 and android version i am using 4.1 right so this is a native android application and all of the mobile app design we have developed using the java and uh, as you know that has told you that we have developed api in php right means android can't connect on uh, database directly so there is a local database of android that is sqlite but we are not using sqlite we are using mysql which is external database and for connecting that external database we have developed apis right so these all technologies i have used for developing this project right so let's start with the functionality go through that that what we have implemented what the functionalities are available in this project right so let's start so the project title is start booking system this is a android application is native android application right and for developing this android application i have used android studio right so for running this project you need to import the code into the android studio so you can see this is the android studio and this is the emulator on which i am running the code right so once you import the code then you will get these files so these are the files available here so all of the files will be available here right and once you import the project then your gradle will be seen and after that you can run the project for running the project just hit the run button once you click on the run button then that app will be loaded the first time you will get this splash form so this is this splash form and after that you will get the dashboard so this is a dashboard these are the banners coming from the database if you want to change the banner then you can change it into the database and you need to replace the banner on that location right so these are the various menus available here you can see the location my bookings my profile about us and change password you can see all of these bookings right this is the home right again this is all locations you will be able to see all of the locations where the tops are available right and uh, only the on these locations only tops are available if you click on that location you will be able to see all of the tops which is available on that location if you click on that location you will be able to see all of the details of the talks right if you click on book then you can book it right so uh, there is a login again that's why it is allowing you to book the uh, talk if you have not logged in then it will restrict without login you will not be able to book the talk so i am entering at the start time so 10 to 12 okay let's say i want to book the talk right and here it's asking for the payment mode you need to enter your card details this is the dummy no need to entering any of the valid details here and once you click on the done it's could not book there is some issue right uh, i think that there is some uh i need to check again right okay uh, i am uh, stopping it and i'm running it again Uh, there will be some problem let's check that's okay now i am going to log out first confirm and after that uh, all locations and uh, this one oh there is a restriction that you can't book uh, that a third on the same date if you have booked it already right so what i'm going, going to do book you can you can check okay so i have logged out from the application it's asking for my uh, user id and password without entering my user id and password i will not be able to do that row, right and password is test right let me check yeah it's working if you click on this login then yeah you has entered into the system now i am going to the sector 55 golden galaxy and book and enter the start time that is the 
10 or uh, I want to book for night 4 to 6 in description I want to book this stuff and then the payment you need to enter the anything you can enter but credit card must be and then CV code and done okay you can check that it's booked successfully right and you have two booking the first one is the Firoz and Simon Golden Galaxy all of the details are available here if you want to see the details just click on the details and that row you will be able to see the booking details here right and this is the whole process right so the process is you will uh, search the location and after that uh, you can click on the locations and the, all of the terms which is available in that location will be displayed and you can book that right sure and uh, here you can see all of the my bookings so there are two bookings which you have made so it's showing two bookings and after that this is a my profile from where you will be able to see your profile about us this is about the project if you want to change the content then you can change from the about us layout this is a change password from where you will be able to update your account password right here you will get the same menu right as you are seeing it here home all location all centers right all bookings you will be able to see all of the details here right so let me uh, so here you can search all centers means all uh, top centers right so this all are the top centers if you want to book any other top centers then you can click and after after that you can so all of the details are coming from the database here you can see all of the details are coming from the database once you click on the book you need to enter all of your booking information and you need to enter the credit card details that is the dummy credit card details no need to enter any valid details and after entering all of these your uh, ground will be booked right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project the top booking system and as i told you earlier this is an android application which i which I have developed in Android Studio. We are using MySQL database for storing all of the data and PHP API for connecting Android Studio with the MySQL, right? So if you need more functionality in this project, just put it into the comment. I will incorporate the changes. I will make this project more better and better according to your requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching today. Thank you very much.